Hello and thank you for joining us on Schroeder TV. Today we'll be showing a demonstration of our HDP demo stand, which is a portable field ready unit that allows us to show some of the features, functionality, and benefits of our HDP filtration product offering. Now, we highlight today on this stand the HDP product, but the same great technology of high particulate efficiency or high particulate removal efficiency and high water removal efficiency with a coalescing technology is shown in this and the same applies for all of our both mobile and bulk fuel filtration product offering. So to explain what this stand is, we've got two of our key HDP products, our basic manual drain version and our automatic water drain version. Now the basic version has the additional integral electric boost pump feature that provides the flow for this demo stand. So what you see here is the full circuit and we're just going to be recirculating about five gallons of off-highway red dyed diesel fuel that we just picked up at our local retail station. So this fuel is going to be recirculating, drawing through the filters and with this stand we can introduce an amount of water to show in real time how quickly, how efficiently, and how well it separates the water from the fuel. And you can see our automatic water drain uh, system, how that functions, as well as how it separates in our manual water drain version as well. Just to give you a sense of how all of our product offering works. And last but not least, we'll be able to walk through and explain some of the benefits of why the manual drain version can certainly work well to improve the quality of filtration in existing installations, but the automatic water drain really provides that value add industry first technology that enables automatic water drain while the engine is still running. So we're gonna get this started. I'm gonna turn on the system and then we'll introduce a certain amount of water and collect it and watch how the system works. So I'm gonna turn this unit on and as it circulates, it's gonna turn the fuel through the filtration in the system here. I've got just standard tap water here and I'm only going to pour in a few hundred milliliters just to see how quickly we can separate that water out. Now as the unit separates, we can see where it's drawing through both the high-tech auto water drain version and the manual drain version. This sight glass shows a level or a horizon of where that water will separate, coalesce, and drop into the bottom sump section. As it separates, you'll start to see the horizon between the fuel and the water. And as that raises, you can start to see where it changes from red to white to show you that the water level is rising. It will touch the top of our water and fuel sensor, which then sends a signal to a pump. Now that pump just switched on and drains off the sump under pressure. So that water that's collected while the engine's running can be drained off without any user intervention. There's no need for an operator to stop the engine system. And there's no need for the operator to go over and monitor it or drain it. It does so automatically just based upon the signal it's getting from that sump. Now, as it continues to circulate, why I like to show the manual water drain in the same demo stand is because if we tried to drain off the water from the manual water drain version, I'm going to try and open it. But while the engine's running, it's under vacuum, so we start to draw in air. There's no way for us to drain off the water as it collects from this filter unless we shut down the engine, open the vent, open the drain, and drain off the water. So in cases where critical uptime is necessary, the automatic water drain version really provides the value add that no one else out there in the industry offers today. So. As this unit continues to operate, what I'd like to show you is a demonstration of how that filtration technology works. So this is a cutaway version of the same exact element that is used inside this manual drain housing. Now we've taken this element and you can see that we have 
a few different features, a mesh pack, followed by a separation sock or a water separation layer. These provide three functions, the first of which is a particulate filtration. So as the fuel flows through, this is taking out the coarse contaminant, the particulate, the hard particles that can damage sensitive fuel systems today. As it passes through that media, on the back side of the filter media is a coalescing layer that takes tiny, fine, emulsified water droplets, allows them to collide and form large droplets. And those large droplets drop down through into the sump space, which is what you see down here. That clear bowl allows you to see the water level collect and build as this system operates and separates water. This last layer is a separation layer. That ensures that the large water droplets, droplets don't get passed downstream into your engine system, but that they get stopped and separated very effectively and efficiently into the subspace. Now to give you a quick demonstration of how this works, we've got a system here. Where I'm going to add just a few milliliters of water to show you that this is an impermeable layer. It's not going to allow for the water to pass through. But just like the water, so I've got a wa water in this separation sock up to about the middle. And you can see where if we add just a little bit of fuel that will pass through that layer without any problems allowing that fuel to continue to flow through the filter downstream. So you can see where that fuel just passes through that membrane where the water still remains separated and contained within that separation layer.